Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making one of our favorite pizzas. It's one that Donny ate somewhere on his travels and since then that's the only kind of pizza he wants. We very rarely see it on a menu. So this is perfect for when you have leftover lamb from a braai or a Sunday lunch and you just want something lighter in the evening. Well, it's not really light, but we'll just pretend for now. It's very simple and very easy and basically consists of lamb, roasted peppers, tomato, basil and delicious cheeses. So with the peppers, I roasted them earlier. You basically can do it on a braai or on an open flame. The tomato sauce uh, base for pizza is very easy. I just take tinned tomatoes, you can also use fresh ones, and I reduce them down with a little bit of garlic, a little bit of spices, and I just blitz them. And then the lamb. So you can use any kind of leftover lamb for this. This is lamb shanks that I've just pulled off the bone and that will be hopefully delicious. Let's go for the tomato sauce. So this pizza is much more South African than Italian in the sense that more is more and not less is more. I get the tomato base all over. So you can make your own pizza bases, but for this, I've just had this one left over from another occasion. So that's just what I'm gonna use. Dani actually likes a thinner pizza base. This one is kind of medium sized and um, it's already cooked. So it will literally go into the pizza oven for just a few seconds till the cheese melt and everything's nice and brown. Then we start with the cheese. I'm gonna take some mozzarella, just normal store-bought mozzarella and just cover it everywhere because it will melt away quite quickly. And parmesan. But this is nice for a just a little bit more of a salty taste. Now I think I'll do some peppers. So these are the roasted peppers. I prefer yellow and red usually, because they're almost a sweeter flavor than the green. And then I'll do some lamb. So the lamb, I'm just gonna put all over the place, like that. Some of this delicious buffalo mozzarella over it as well. A Little bit of salt all over. And I'm gonna do some black pepper on this one. So the pizza is going into the oven. Here we go. If you're using a normal oven, just make the oven as hot as possible and make sure that you also put it on a hot base, on a hot plate or pan or whatever, that the pizza really gets the heat from top and bottom and it really should only take a few minutes. Well, I think it's ready. Um, it's perfectly caramelized at the top, some little black edging around the sides, but it's looking good. There we go. Okay, so the pizza is out of the oven and it's all perfectly cooked. Lots of caramelization around the edges and some on the top. And now I think the ultimate would be just to tear some fresh basil over it. So for us, the Bottleray Hills Red Blend is the perfect wine for any occasion. And to serve it with a pizza like this, one of our favorites, is just magical. Perfect pairing in the making. Hey! We're basically breaking all the rules with this pizza, so I'm also not gonna cut it like we usually do. <laughs> so at this point, you can add whatever you like. I like a bit of hot sauce. I think a little bit more Parmesan has never hurt anyone. The Bottler Rails Estate Red, it's a Bordeaux style blend, which makes it perfect with a bit of lamb and the fresh basil picking up on the herbaceousness. Lots of rich creamy cheese flavors coming through. It should be a very good match. 